Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you an amazing hair growth treatment that you can do to your hair once a week in order to help promote healthier and stronger hair growth. So if you're interested, be sure to stick around and watch till the end of the video. Now before we dive into it, I just want to take a few seconds just to acknowledge my new subscribers. We've grown a lot in the past few weeks and I'm so grateful guys. Thank you so much if you're newly subscribed and welcome to the family. I really appreciate it and if you're returning thank you so much for your support i'm so grateful and if it's the first time you're coming across my videos i'm vanessa i make videos like this so click that subscribe button and join the family if you want to see more now let's get right into the video guys now what we're going to need would be some aloe vera okay you guys know how i love aloe vera because you know it's just great okay aloe vera just has some some amazing properties that you know our hair definitely needs in order to thrive now i cut a small portion of the aloe vera that i'm going to need here guys and i went ahead and i washed it um you can actually let this sit in water for a few minutes if you want to but i just didn't really feel the need to do that um so once you do that guys you need to remove the sharp edges from the aloe vera and then cut it in the middle and then you want to get the gel out of it with a spoon okay or you can do this with a knife as well have you noticed that my aloe vera is not the gel it's not really clear um when i cut this aloe vera and i looked at i looked at the inside i was like what's going on <laughs> what's going on with this because i've never actually used aloe vera that had this color before and i thought my aloe vera was spoiled but don't worry guys if this happens to you don't worry it's not spoiled there's nothing wrong with it it's just because it was harvested during the dry season apparently when it's har harvested during the dry season is it takes like a goldish or yellowish color uh, compared to the raining season which has like a clear color so it's absolutely fine um so basically once i scoop all the gel out i just went ahead and i blended the aloe vera now i'm using a hand blender here but you can use basically anything that you've got available i was just kind of lazy to you get my you know diy blender out but i still ended up having to get it out anyways um so this was just more work for me but anyways <laughs> that's that just to tell you how sometimes you're trying to cut corners and you're giving yourself more work but hey so yeah i blended it and then uh now i'm now ready to actually strain it now you need to strain it just to, so you can get rid of the um pop from the aloe vera now aloe vera is really great for hair growth guys because it promotes a healthy scalp like i say all the time it treats down dwarf, prevents itchiness you know it's full of vitamins that helps you know nourish your hair and scalp and in order for it to grow so that's why aloe vera is just a really great thing to incorporate into your hair regimen uh, if you're not allergic to it obviously some people are and if you are then don't use it um, but if it's okay with you just like it is with me then use it as much as you want now the next ingredient guys will be some avocados now it's important that the avocado that you use is properly right because if it's not then it's going to get stuck in your hair after you rinse the this treatment off now it might look like you know it's nice and smooth after you blended it but it's later when you rinse it that you actually realize that you have some stuff left in your hair so you know when your avocado is about to go off that's even the best time that you're supposed to use it for this treatment because you know it's much softer and also um kind of easier to blend pretty much now avocado is great for hair growth guys because it prevents dandruff adds more shine to your hair and shine and it also promotes healthier um a healthier scalp pretty much now you just want to cut the avocado and put it in your blender i use a whole avocado here but you can use more or less depending on how much of this you're trying to make now the next thing that i'm going to do is basically combine the aloe vera that i blended earlier with the avocado you could have done this before uh, but I just thought it would be harder to strain afterwards So that's why I decided to strain the aloe vera first and then use it later in for the rest of the recipe Now after that we're going to add in some banana guys. I'm using one ripe banana Now again the riper it is the better for this recipe now banana is great for hair growth guys because it has Antimicrobial properties that can also that that can actually help heal a flaky and dry scalp. It relieves dandruff it also um, causes your hair to be stronger and also grow thicker now the next one will be some coconut milk now coconut milk is high in protein it has vitamin c e and b b1 b3 b5 b6 
which are basically all the vitamins that you know our hair needs to thrive it also slows hair loss restore dry hair and scalp and it gets rid of dandruff so blend all of that together guys and that's pretty much what you end with end up with a nice smooth consistency of like a greenish you know kind of textured um I don't know basically that's that's what you end up with so a nice greenish consistency here and it's really tempting to actually eat it um, but you can actually eat this if you want because all the ingredients are edible um, but our hair is going to enjoy this pretty much so I'm now ready to apply this to my hair guys my hair is looking really really bad at this point um, because I haven't combed it I didn't do anything to it what happened is that I actually washed this hair and condition it but I didn't really have the time to proceed with like my normal routine of sealing the moisture in and all of that because you know life happens sometimes and you know other things have more priority than my hair at, at certain times so I just let my hair be and then I deal with that later when I have a little bit more time usually I don't detangle my hair when I wash it I mean before I wash it like I used to do just because I found that you know it takes longer and to be quite fair i really haven't got that much time now to sit and detangle and then go in the shower and then detangle after that i just think it's just too long so i wash my hair without detangling and i detangle after i rinse my conditioner off and my hair is a little damp because then it's soft and it's easier to handle um but like i said on this occasion i didn't have have the chance to do that and that's why my hair is looking kind of dry and tangled and matted and all of that now i didn't want to use like a regular water and a leave-in conditioner to do this i just thought doing this treatment would be a great way of restoring that moisture back into my hair and also enable me to um to detangle properly afterwards so section a small portion of hair that you're going to work with guys always work on your hair sections makes it so much easier prevents breakage tangles and all of that now you want to apply this directly to the hair make sure that every strand of hair is covered apply it to your scalp as well because our hair grows from our scalp and that's basically what we're trying to nourish so all of the benefits of this you know treatment you want to give that to your scalp as well so apply that to it don't worry about build up you're not going to get any build up when you rinse this off everything will come off um, and also don't forget your ends because that's the driest and the oldest part of your hair now you need to give it some extra TLC because if you're trying to retain length if that's your goal you want to preserve those ends because otherwise you know you might be thinking your hair is not growing but it's growing but it's just that it's breaking at the same time so that's why you're not seeing you know any length retention so massage that to your hair properly guys just like i'm doing here and then you want to go ahead and twist that section and repeat the same for the rest of the hair as you can see here i was just making sure that every single strand of my hair was covered when i tell you guys this treatment is amazing like the amount of moisture that my hair felt like had after this treatment was just unbelievable okay i was just so excited i remember telling my husband i was like touch my hair touch my hair like this is the softest my hair has ever been um yeah i was just really really excited guys and i do hope that you know when you try this that you actually find that you know your hair is as soft and as nourished as mine was so i'm just gonna go ahead and proceed you know to applying the whole of this to my hair and then um yeah
so at this point i had finished applying it to my hair guys i was just focusing a bit more on my edges here because you know i'm trying to get those thick edges okay <laughs> so i'm still this is growing it's certainly growing but you just need to i just need to give it a little bit more extra care pretty much so i'm now ready to go ahead and put it put on my plastic bag now i use a plastic bag because i don't have a heat cap okay but it does the same thing i've used a plastic bag for so long now and yeah i don't really mind it i still get the same results regardless but if you got a heat cap that's even better put that on and then let this sit in your hair for like two hours or you can leave it overnight if you want to it's very nourishing for your hair it's not going to cause any trouble because these are great natural ingredients so it's definitely safe to be used on your hair overnight um so after two hours guys i was ready to wash it out now I look a bit different because I worked out, okay? I try to maximize my time as much as I can, especially especially with these kids, okay? So I usually try and multitask in between, so that's why I look a little bit different. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wash this off and then I'll take a shower as well. And then I'll show you what the hair looks like afterwards. But we can already see how much of a difference uh, it has from what it, I started off with, okay? It, it's already looking nice and soft uh i was really kind of excited because you know, i mean you can see it on my face that i was really happy that it was really nice and soft and you know looking pretty good so i'm now going to go ahead and rinse that off and that's basically what my hair looks like after i rinse this off you can see there's nothing left in my hair no um none of this product was left in my hair at all which was really really good and my hair also looks very very um soft obviously you you cannot feel it but when i tell you guys the softness was just amazing so yeah my hair now is still not detangled i'm gonna go ahead and detangle that and then seal in the moisture and do my normal routine but that's basically what it looks like guys this is it for me today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you're not already share with your friends your family anyone that you know that could benefit from this and i'll catch you next time bye